<laughs> hello lilas <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys oh i don't like this hang on i don't like the there we go all right well we kind of got it yeah that's good all right <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys um if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and make sure that you subscribe now. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, if you have not joined the Chatterbox, please make sure you join the Chatterbox. It is $1.99 a month, and you do have to be at least 18 years to join. Um, it is for exclusive monthly live streams. All right. So anyway, um, this is the long lost Phoenix. <laughs> So we finally, we got his head back and he is not too happy about me waking him up to do a video. He says, mommy, you're a morning person, but I am not. Um, this guy had a, an amazing first day home, right? Um, some of my babies been in my collection forever and they still haven't been out on a walk, but he's been home. He's played on the floor. He's had cereal. He's eight you know he's been in the high chair he went for a walk we were live on facebook yesterday um during our evening walk normally you know me and gabby we take our evening walk and we decided to take phoenix with us yesterday because we had been waiting on him for so long we just didn't want to leave him so i did take the day off from doing mostly everything and actually spend the whole day with him well after my full-time job but um so Phoenix is limb by Bonnie Brown and he was painted by myself Woo so he was painted by myself and he was rooted by sentimental babies um which I do have to say she, not only did she do an amazing job with his rooting um he actually she actually was amazing throughout the process of you know trying to ensure that he gets home to me and not somewhere else so um this is here i just platted it down um i'm not good at doing hair i do have a few sis in the community that uh don't live that far from me and if it wasn't for you know what's going on with the pandemic i probably would take the drive so she could braid his hair down but um she was like i'll do it for you but he had uh ponytails at first and then he had one ponytail in one of his pictures that i don't think i posted yet um and then i just said let me just plait it down you know nothing neat and fancy just plait it down that's how we would do real baby um boy because he is a boy but he just have lots of hair um so basically one of the things oh i'm gonna get him changed to into what he's gonna wear for today oh little boy now he his head will you know stay straight it's just that i am moving him so he he does have movement in his head i don't know what it is about me but i still don't like a really stiff toddler like because i'm a baby person i need them to feel good have some type of weight and all that so I weighted him to where he has weight but he's not extremely heavy um and he can sit up because he does he should be sitting up he shouldn't be um not able to sit up at this size unless you know he has a disability and I was not going for that that um idea with him so I decided to um um to wait him to sit up now he is on a custom body um so therefore his torso may appear to be pretty long in certain outfits that's why you know i have to dress him in certain things but his pjs i knew he would look a little long um in the torso but that's because i wanted him to be a bigger boy come up baby <laughs> Um, one of the things I wanted to ask you guys, and I'm, I'm asking your opinion, and I don't want to take off any other sculptors, but I'm just curious now, um, because I went to order something, supplies off of MacPherson website, 
And when I went there, I saw, I'm going to take him all the way, everything off. That way you guys can see him in just the cloth. Um, I noticed that one of the kits were back in stock. And stock, stock. <laughs> and... <laughs> You have, to, you have to get your words right here on YouTube, honey, because if you don't, baby, somebody going to get you together in that comment section. But um, I wanted to see if they had, I, I noticed that they had one of the kits that I was looking at back in stock, which was the Sam kit by Gudrun Legler. And, but then it said that it was an open edition. So they did a first edition that was, I guess, limited or nim numbered or numbered and then a numbered edition. And then after that, it's an open edition. Well, let me know what you guys think about this because this is how I'm feeling. I don't understand the first and second edition type thing. Like, I my or limited edition, the first numbered, um, I know that like some of the limbs are numbered. They have a COA that's numbered and some of them are just open after that. In my opinion, this is in my opinion, I think that once you open do an open edition, you pretty much just devalue the limited edition or basically in it, it the number COA doesn't mean crap if it's continuously going to be an open edition, right? Um, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not against open edition, but I just feel like it's kind of a contradicting thing for some people that may not be keeping up with the artist's web pages, their sites, and all that stuff to see if Oh, later they're going to do a second edition or this is eventually going to be an open edition. When they see a, you know, numbered edition, they're thinking they're getting a limited edition of Sculpt. So I feel like Sculptor should do one or the other. Like, I feel like it's kind of confusing or contradicting to do both within the same Sculpt. Like, and also... Where I like it, I do also love the um, the true limited edition sculpt. So this is him with just his body. Look up, baby. In my opinion, also when it comes down to this, I'm just trying to get y'all more light. When it comes down to um. Our babies, I feel like they should still look good even if they don't have on un not one bit of clothes. Like you should be able to, like I absolutely love him in just, just his cloth body. This is his bum bum and it does have my signature on the back. It says, <laughs> Miss Serenity um, Smith babies on his bum bum that is custom. I mean, uh, embroidered across his, stitch across his body. Now, some of my babies come like that. Some of them do not. It just depends on if I have the bodies in stock or if I order it, if I can get them, or, you know, how much I'm charging for the doll. It's like a whole bunch of things. The reason why some babies have them and some babies don't. Let me get him with this diaper on and stuff. But yeah, so let me know what you think about the open edition. I think more of the older collectors that's been collecting for a long time, that's like the old, I call them the old school collectors, I think they don't particularly like open editions at all. Um, but I actually, like I said, I actually don't mind it. I just wish that, you know, sometime every now and then it would be nice if some of my favorite sculptors would throw in a you know a pretty limited edition now i'm saying that now until I, until I don't get you know i miss out on that that scope and then i'll be looking crazy like dang it you know then i'm gonna be like do a second edition <laughs> oh no 
this one ain't going cross like the other one. The other diaper went cross. Even though it was... Okay. Anyway, we're not going to worry about it. You're going to have on some little high cut diaper. It don't matter. You ain't going to see it in his clothes. But, yeah, I I love, like, um, like, for instance, Natalie Blick is one that does limited editions. And her kits typically sell out because I think people know you better get it or you won't get it. And so, like, my Susu and my, um, my Susu and my Maggie by Natalie Blick. Those are from my personal collection. Like, I will hold on to them, you know, for dear life because those are a truly limited edition. Like, they're not, oh, guys, look, we're going to do another run type thing. Um, so, I really, I think they share the same lambs. I didn't double check that, but I'm pretty sure they share the same lambs. But, um... I don't know if you guys can see too. He has such pretty lashes too. He has top and bottom full lashes, but you, some some stuff you just can't see on camera. Um. But yeah, they they are actually limited edition kits that you know it's only you know eight hundred and ninety nine of them out here or nine hundred and ninety nine of them out here. I forget which number it was um in the whole world and that's that's that that carries a lot of weight not only that for the painters when they get those sculpts and they paint them they can put whatever price tag they want on it because somebody did not get it and they're gonna want that kit and they will pay top dollar for it so it gives the painters more room to uh to charge more so, and I know, you know, collectors probably, like, don't like that. But, you know, it is what it is. But it also gives your doll more value, too, if you look at it from that standpoint. Um, oh, that's my... I'm like, no, I don't rock um, this brand often because I'm like, why is it stitched in there? Like, I thought it was a sticker. Boy. Yeah, he gonna wear his urban wear today just to chill around the house. Ooh. Now I need to get him some, um, I'm gonna have to get him some Jordans and stuff. See, I like the color cloth because, you know, to a certain extent, it, it kind of almost look like it's flesh, you know? So I kind of like that. All right, little boy. So, <laughs> so anyway, that is him. And let's see. You guys can see his little hair. Okay. He wanted to show y'all his hair. Um, I guess. But yeah. So yeah, so let me show y'all his little piggies. Let's see his little feet. Look at his little feet. This is little feet. He's so sweet. But yeah, um, I'm I'm feeling like, because I actually, to be honest, this is the truth, this is no lie, I actually decided not to buy the, um, the Sam kit after I looked at it and I saw that it was open edition. I don't know why, just something in me just said, I don't want it. Like, all of a sudden, I didn't want it. I, I don't know, like, for me, sometimes I want something that's going to be a little bit let um more rare that's not gonna be on that everybody's gonna have um so you know I was just like oh, okay I can I can do without that because you know I love the kit I actually just love the way certain people painted it but it's not one that it's like oh my god I just gotta have it like the Maggie I just want really wanted the Maggie sculpt really really bad um so I was like. Oh, it's open edition. It's going to keep going on and on forever. If I decide later that I want it, then I'll get it. But for now, I'm over it. Don't worry about it type thing. Once As soon as I seen it open edition, it just, I was over it. 
Um, so, yeah, I'm just, what you guys think? Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? Do you think that they should do one or the other? I'm really, really curious to know if I'm just the weird one here. But I just feel like that is so confusing because I thought the you know, I'm thinking, oh my God, the kid is going to sell out. Let me hurry up and get it, you know, and come to find out it's going to be a whole open edition. That's weird. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks guys for um, tuning in and uh, we're going to go because I got a lot to do. And to get my day going, today is going to be one of those power pack days that I'm not ready for. Ugh. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Tell them bye, Phoenix. Phoenix, look at the camera. He is, he is not a people person. No, and he's not a morning person either. I'm, I'm a little moody like my sister. And Gabby don't like to wake up either in the morning. They both sleepy heads. I'm going to have to drag both of their butts out. All right. Later. Come on, let's go turn the camera off. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> let's turn the camera off. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on.